Hey everyone, I am back to share my latest project with you. I've been working on a couple things over the holiday. Um, so I thought I'd share with you. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on how to do junk journals um, and thought they were really fun to make. So I decided to make my own. Now I'm not going to use mine as a junk journal per se. Um, I'm not going to journal in it, I guess. Um, but I will use it to keep stuff in, kind of like a smash book type. So probably more like a smash, a smash book rather than a junk journal. But it's in the, um, I made it like a junk journal, if that makes sense. So this is um, a Jane Austen inspired book. She's one of my favorite authors. I have all her books um, and I've watched all the movies. So um I thought that would be perfect to make something like that. And it's for myself, so. Um, but anyway, the front cover. The paper that I used, um, I had found over at Hobby Lobby. And I bought this, I think it was the day after Christmas or the day before or something like that. Um, when they had their 50% off all their paper stacks. So I picked this one up. It's called Keller Kurtz & Company really cute vintage type papers um, that was perfect for this so pick that one up and then I also picked up this one here called newsworthy and same thing vintage uh, there's some maps I think yeah map type um, and just different vintage paper with like newspaper writing in the background. So that was my big find over there. So that's what all the papers in this book I used. So for the front cover I found this image off of, um, I think I did a Google search for that one and found it um, and then just Mod Podge it on top of here. I used some modeling paste and a stencil to give it some texture up here. Put a piece of uh, ribbon down here, ribbon trim. And then I found this charm. Um, I used a Tim Holtz um, clip thingy and um, attached these charms here that I found. Um, I got this at Meyer actually. Um, it has a key. Sorry. It has a key. A flower, this big jumbo gem here, another little gem, and then a heart. So that was perfect for that. And then a piece of seam binding, just tied. And I used my cinch to bind it. Did I say that already? This is my second time filming, so I can't remember what I've said. Um, used my cinch to bind it with. Uh, the covers, the front and back covers are made from chipboard. So that's what those are. This ribbon here actually came off of a box of Godiva chocolate that I got for Christmas. So it was the perfect color and perfect to um, use as a book band. So that is what that is. So on to the inside. Now I did Mod Podge a lot of these papers um, just to give it like a protective covering over top of it. So the first page here is this little pocket and there's a lady on here that um, does junk journal videos and I can't recall her name at the moment, but she teaches you how to make these. I will put her link down in the description box. So if you wanna learn how to make these, really fun and really easy. It just takes one 12 by 12 sheet of paper to make that. And then you get a pocket here and you get a pocket up here and then same on the other side. I think there's four pockets total. Oh no, I glued the two together just to make it one big pocket. So two pockets and then one pocket here. So I did some stamping on it. Um, and then I found these, uh, there's a um, printable on, it's either Pinterest or once again, the Google search, but it's just for these covers to make your own little miniature books. So. I ran those off and then I took it a step further and I ran off a bunch of quotes um, from the actual book and also found some illustrations from the different books 
just size those down to fit inside here. And that's what took me the longest was trying to size these down. Um, it took a long time to get the right dimensions and whatnot. But I think it's really cute. It's like a little tiny book. So that one's Emma. And then over on this side, there's just a little tag and a little card. Over on this side, I found this picture of Jane Austen, Mod podge it. And then for this page, I just took a doily and I wrapped it around both sides to give it a little tuck spot. And then stamped it and then I used um, Tim Holtz tea dye to stain it. Back page, another stamp here. Um, nothing in it so far, so if I find more ephemera or whatever, I can just tuck it in there. This card, I stamped a little Victoria Schilling stamp there. Um, I accidentally punched the holes this way and I wanted it to go in this way. So I just took some washi tape and covered up the holes with that. Uh, this page is just a little cut spot. There's a quote from Mr. Darcy. I used some lace to act as the pocket and then attach this with a paper clip just to give it some more reinforcement to hold things when you tuck it behind there. I found this silhouette. I don't know if it's supposed to be Jane or just like a Victorian lady, but it fit perfectly in here. Um, this is the same lace from the other side. I just mod podged it down so it stayed. Another pocket page with just some more little ephemera tucked in. And then the back has Pride and Prejudice book, a little tiny book. This is a glassine envelope that I had, so I coffee stained it. That smells really strong of coffee. I think I used too much. Um, and then stamped it here, and then just inside is this cute little Victorian, Victorian lovers card. And then on the back, I found this journaling card. Um, that was a free printable. Printed off and then mod podged it to that. This page I made into um, two pockets. So the first pocket down here has just some little cards and this little bundle of letters. I added some lace down here and then a stamp. And then the pocket up here, I just found this dress ball thought that was perfect because they go to a lot of balls in Austin's books and then did some stamping up here. Two blank pages so I can add stuff. Um, I did ink all the edges of my papers as well with the Tim Holtz tea dye. This page I found this printable um, with a Jane Austen quote. Perfect for that. This was one of those little paper bags that everyone has. I just cut it down and then I put Mod Podge over top of it so it'll hold whatever you want it to. This side's another pocket page. I did some more modeling paste for texture. Um, added these little postcards here. It has two books in it, the Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. Same thing for both little quotes and pictures. And then I also found this Anatomy of a Janeite. And a Janeite, if you're not familiar, is what they call people who are, I don't want to say obsessed with Jane Austen, but really like her stuff. So I guess I would be considered that. <laughs> um, but it just has different things, like very fond of long walks and stuff like that. So that's in that little pocket. Another blank page, and here's a piece of vellum that I just cut down and added. Another tuck spot with a little card, and then you can add more stuff. I thought about adding like more quotes and stuff from Jane Austen in here. A couple more pages. There's a quote, and I want to say, I want to say that's Pride and Prejudice, but it could be Sense and Sel Sensibility. Not positive. Um, another pocket page, just a little cute card with a. Um, Ribbon, Mansfield Park in the back. I want to cover this because this has like a war, war thing on it. So 
that doesn't really go with the book. So I'm going to find something to cover that up. Another page. Um, this is Marianne from Sense and Sensibility. That's probably my favorite. Um, Jane Austen is Sense and Sensibility. And I love the movie. Every once in a while I have my days where I just want to watch all the movies. And I'll make a marathon of it. <laughs> um, here's another um, cardstock that I just, it was longer. And I just took it and folded this part over. I scored it and then folded it over. Use sticky strip to hold it. And then it holds the little Sense and Sensibility book inside there. Another page with an image I found. This is an, um, a glassine bag that I once again coffee stained and then added some lace and then the image. Another piece of vellum. Um, this is a quote from Pride and Prejudice. And I added some lace to the top. Because the paper wasn't, it was kind of, the paper looked more modern than it did, but I liked the back. So I just covered it up so you can barely see the, the background paper. Uh, another page here. This is a cute little envelope. Um, another glassine envelope that I coffee stained. And then it has these little Wickersham Banking Company. But it looks like the style of like back then. So I thought that was cute. There's in there another stamp. And then here's another vellum. And I'm not, I don't really like that I uh, Mod Podge this on here. I probably wouldn't do that again because it kind of crinkles up the paper. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it gives it some texture, but yeah, it kind of wrinkles up the paper. And then the back page, last page, and then the back cover. So that is my Jane Austen inspired um, book. I'll just call it a book because it's not really a junk journal per se. So Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I have a haul video to share and also another um, mixed media project to share that I will be back with. So stay tuned for those and thanks for watching.